You are watching So Mungry's Sound Wave Sunday. Operation Question and Answer Initiate. Booyah! Hello, Autobots and Decepticons. My name is So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you guys all to another Sound Wave Sunday, numero 67. No general announcements that I can think of off the bat except for Kawabunga and Turtle Power. Hope you guys are liking that playthrough. I am. I, I love the turtles, though. Just a huge fan. Huge fan. That's what's going on on the channel right now. So, hope you're enjoying it. Anyways, let's get to the questions. Our first question comes from T-God of Hellfire. Mungri, on its current course, do you think your giveaway plan will work? Soundwave Sunday, number 67. As of right now, maybe, maybe not. It depends on how much you guys want to participate. I mean, it's going really slow, and I understand, like, school starting. And that has got to be your number one priority. But make sure and thumbs up every video you guys can, or favorite it, or comment on it, and share it. It definitely will help out, and then we will get to that giveaway goal. It's going kind of slow right now, so it's... I don't know. I don't know yet. It's too early to tell just because of kind of different people's schedules and how many people are watching different things and stuff like that. But definitely share with your friends videos. It only takes like two seconds to like them. So do that. That'll help me out. It'll help the channel grow and it'll allow me to keep bringing videos to you guys. Our next question comes from To Thy Four. How come you never play Fall Cybertron multiplayer? And I get this a lot. And you know what? I think. In the beginning, like, what was it, like a year ago, maybe two, uh, a year and a half ago, I think I just played it too much and kind of wore it out, because I don't have any desire to play it right now. It almost feels like a chore to me at this point if I go back and play it, and it's kind of more or less boring, and I don't want to force myself to play something I don't want to play, just because then it wouldn't be fun for me, and even if I record it, it wouldn't even be fun for you guys. Well, maybe it would be, because you guys love Transformers, but... I don't want to go that direction. I don't want to force myself to play something that I don't want to play. I tried that with Minecraft and it didn't go too well. So I don't want to do that. And I played a ton, over a hundred, over I think it was over maybe 150 videos of Fall Cybertron multiplayer for you guys already. So there's a lot of videos out there for you that you guys can check out. And I don't know if I'll come back to it or not. I'm not sure about that, but I do want to play some Escalation of Fall Cybertron multiplayer. I want to try some of that again in the future. I'm not sure when that will happen because I never was able to beat that single player and I want to be able to beat that someday single player. I think that'd be fun. And the thing about playing multiplayer games like Fall Cybertron and War for Cybertron is that you have to play it consistently to be good at them and I just don't have the desire to play really either of those two at this time just because both those games I played a ton of, a ton of War for Cybertron more because I love that game. That game was awesome to me. And now it's tough for me to even play that now just with all the glitches and the hackers and just because I pretty much outplayed it. But you have to be able to play those games like consistently to do good at them. And it's tough for me to go back and play them and commentate when I know that I'm not going to play up to par or what I feel I should be able to play on them just because I know how high of a level I could play in the past and now when I go back and I just do it terrible and it's just like kind of frustrating but that's kind of why and also I started playing MOBAs and if you haven't started playing MOBAs yet don't do it because your desire to play any other multiplayer games will go out the drain especially if you get into MOBAs I play a lot of Smite that's like the only multiplayer competitively that I want to play right now other than that I just really want to play like campaigns and like co-op playthroughs with friends or like co-op like maybe even a horde mode like escalation every once in a great while so i hope that helps explain kind of why i don't play that right now that was long story long i guess next question comes from adam rush mungry if you could design a video game what would it be like well i would love to see a transformers moba that'd be awesome very cool and i'd like to see it like a third person like smite style if they do do that because it's more action-packed that way, and I think that's very cool. But I would love to see, or I would love to design a game, I guess, like a Zelda game. That is my passion. I don't know. It would maybe be like a mix between, maybe like a Transformers Zelda. That'd be pretty awesome, where you like travel between space and you go to different planets. That'd be amazing. Be like more of like the Nintendo 64 style. That'd be cool. That'd be real cool. Next question comes from Gabriel Casas. Hey, Mungry, or Jock. Too bacon or not too bacon? Energon bacon, even better. Soundwave Sunday, number 67. Bacon, for sure. 
Who doesn't love bacon? If you're not mistaken, you always add that bacon. Yes, you do. And even the dogs love it. They beg for bacon strips. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Or is it bacon strips? Anyways, they love bacon too. They do, they do, and they do. But the one thing about this comment or this question is the Energon bacon. I don't know about that because I always picture Energon in more like a liquid form. So I'm not sure if that would go with bacon too well or not. I'm not sure. But you know what? It's bacon and it's Energon. So you can't go wrong with that. Next question comes from Skyd64. Yo, Monster! What are your top five game consoles? Soundwave Sunday, number 67. This is easy for me to say my number one and number two, but let's start from the bottom. Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Let's go with the PS2 for number five. The PS2, what a magical time. With me and my friends hanging out, playing Shadow of the Colossus, any multiplayer games we could get our hands on, especially since we had that adapter. I used to play Champions. I think it was like Champions of Norath and the other Champions game all the time with one of my buddies. Great times. PS2, awesome. There's a lot of great platformers. There's a lot of great story games on there. Just an amazing console. Let's go with number four, the Xbox 360. Welcome to multiplayer land. That brought it all together, online universe, and I met so many nice people and then some people that wanted to touch me virtually. But we're not going to talk about them. But the nice people, thank you. Thank you for the experience with the multiplayer gaming. Whether it was Transformers, War for Cybertron, Revenge of the Fallen, or any other multiplayer game. I love how I list two Transformers games there. How about Halo 3? I played that a ton on the Xbox 360. Love it. Great multiplayer experience. Love the Boughton online arcade feature. Just amazing. Number three, Nintendo 64. Don't, 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 do All I gotta say is Zelda times two. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Number three. No, wait, that was number three. Number two, Nintendo GameCube. I love this system. This is an, almost a close number one for me. Me and my buddies back in the day would always go to each other's houses and play Mario Kart. We'd have the four players going. That was just amazing. The GameCube, probably one of my, like, most, well, it is. It's number two here. It's my probably, oh, I, I don't know, best multiplayer experience, like, together as a group gaming console. I, I think it's amazing. It's amazing. And number one, the console that revolutionized gaming, the Super Nintendo. If you ever were younger, like me, you played Nintendo. And then all of a sudden, one day, the Super Nintendo came out, and it was like, Oh! How did they do that? How did it go from that to this? This is just amazing. From games like Zelda, to Super Metroid, to Secret of Mana, and many, many more. That system, just amazing. Evio, evolve a dino into a human. I mean, come on. That system, best system ever, in my opinion. I grew up during it, though, too, so I'm a little biased. But I love that system. It will always be my number one. No questions asked. Next question comes from Bot Brawler 9699 Hey, Mungry. Every week we ask you questions and you give us answers. But don't you think it's our turn? Are there any questions you would like to ask your subscribers? Soundwave Sunday, number 67. With two thumbs up. And you know what? I'd have to think about this. But one question comes to mind after just cutting and pasting this question in this video for you guys is for I guess for the subscribers that kind of watch all the videos or the subscribers that maybe be a little bit newer I, I know the older ones have been with me for a long time so they grew through the channels and they kind of know my personality so it's very cool but when you like when you click on one of my videos do you click on that for the gameplay to see what's happening with that video game or do you click on it to hear what I have to say about it or just what I have to say about anything in general I would love to hear your answers about that and feel free to expand on it. Next question comes from Rust E Productions. How does the YouTube partnership work? Woo! You're asking for like a novel here and trust me I have researched this thing in and out and I don't know if you guys want me, I'm not gonna go into it right now in this video like crazy but I do want to know if you guys want to hear maybe about it or how it works and everything like that and the reason I put this question in here not only because of that is because the network that I'm partnered with also has a referral program for me so I could explain to you guys about their program which I think is amazing because the curse network rocks and I could also give you guys a link for that referral program and 
I, there are certain requirements for it and everything like that, but I want to know how many of you guys want me to maybe talk about this. I don't even know where to begin if I were to start a series like this because there is no easy way to talk about YouTube partnerships, especially when it comes to gaming. There is no easy ways. Whenever you click on those videos that say anything like easy way to get partnered or these are the best things to be partnered, take that stuff with a grain of salt because until you do the research yourself and you understand it from toe to toe, ear to ear, and I don't even understand it fully, and I researched this thing from, for like a year, you you need to like you need to do it yourself. You don't just trust some random person out there. But let me know if you guys are interested in that. I, I question like putting it out there because I don't know how many people that have like five thousand or maybe even ten thousand or maybe even a thousand subscribers that watch my videos. I don't know for sure because I never get. I turned off my emails for like when people subscribe to me. I just had to because otherwise I, I, I it would just get flooded. And that sounded really. Really, really tacky, but I didn't. It didn't mean to go be like that. But I, I just had to turn it off. So I don't know like everybody that subscribes to me their count. So maybe just let me know if you guys wanna want me to explain some stuff about YouTube partnerships or just more specifically things about how they work. Cause this is just really way too general for me to answer. Next question comes from Six Shots. Has there ever been a time in your life you looked back and said, "I wish I did that." So wave Sunday number. 67 and of course I think in everybody's life there will be a time that you say that or there has been a time that you are like I wish I would have did that but you know what as humans we can learn from our mistakes and we can embrace the next situation and do that and our last question comes from I'm the prodigy SOS hey Mungry, I'm only 13 but I know I want to be an author slash writer and I was wondering before you knew about YouTube what was your dream job Soundwave Sunday, number 67. My dream job. I know what it is, and you guys might laugh at it, but as I was growing up, I always was involved in a lot of sports. I played basketball. I played soccer. I played football. What else did I play? I played croquet. I played bowling. I played cricket. No, I didn't. I didn't do those things. But I know my two main sports were basketball and football. I played those two. I love those two the most. And during this time, I discovered the art of the mascot and I always wanted to be a professional mascot I thought that was hilarious and you always had fun at the games I used to go to Milwaukee Bucks games and the mascot I believe his name is it was Bucky then no it's Bucky the Badger what is it? bingo bingo is the <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks mascot and he was always like rubbing people's heads and like sitting on their laps and like throwing like shirts in the crowd and doing all that cool stuff and I always thought that'd be a cool job that would be awesome but I didn't meet the requirements, so I never got to meet a mascot. According to mascot rules, you need to be pretty tall, because you have to be able to wear the suit, and they don't let a 5'10 guy wear the suit. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Soundwave Sunday. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below, and don't forget to answer some of the questions that I asked you guys during this episode, and have a great, grand, wonderful, beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, spectacular... Stupendous? Oh, outstanding? Did I, did I use that already? I, I think I did, but it's okay. Soundwave Sunday, everyone!